Welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us. We're looking at the life of Jesus, his ministry and his mandate. And we've talked about the power of the cross and what has been done for us uh, through the finished work of the cross. We've seen that Jesus came to release the goodness of God upon the lives of uh, mankind. And not just that, but to set us free from the bondage of sin, uh, the consequences of sin. And that is exciting in itself. And we've also seen that salvation is spiritual in its nature, but salvation is also something that affects every part of our being. It also affects our soul uh, uh, as well as our bodies. Uh, and so, you know, we can walk in healing, we can experience God's deliverance and also have the wholeness of God. Now, uh, in the earthly ministry that Jesus did, he went about doing all these uh, wonderful works as we've seen that in Acts chapter 10 and verse 38. But another thing that we observe is that he sent forth his disciples to do what he did. He asked them to go and freely give to others what they had received. And so in doing this, as the disciples went out and you know, they, they started ministering to others, they, they saw that demon spirits were, were leaving, demon spirits were cast out in the name of Jesus and many mighty miracles, signs, wonders were being done through the hands of the disciples. Uh, and so this shows us that Jesus was not just interested in doing these works all by himself, but he wanted to commission people to continue to do these works. And so, you know, it's even more exciting to note that his disciples can do the same works that he did. Let's consider uh, some scriptures here. In John chapter 20 and verse 21, we see you know, Jesus said to them again, which is the disciples, Peace to you, as the Father has sent me, I also send you. So here he is commissioning the disciples to do his works. Let's look at John chapter 14 and verse 12. And there he's talking not just about the disciples who walked with him, but you know the disciples who are yet to come. And he says, most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also. And greater works than these he will do because I go to my father. And isn't that amazing to know that Jesus expects those who believe in him and which would be you and I, you know, on the other side of the cross and um, during you know, our generation, in our, our time, that even we can walk in the works that the Lord Jesus did. So what are the kinds of works that his disciples did? So here is something that he's, he told his disciples in Matthew chapter 10 and verse 8. He told them to heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out demons. Freely they had received to freely give out the same works of God. And so today, friends, you know, all of us uh, who believe in the Lord Jesus can do the same works that he commissioned his disciples to do. Can we just pray that you know, God, God would enable us to walk in these things? Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we pray that as your disciples, we will be your representatives, O God. And uh, we pray, God, that as your body and as your church, that Lord, we will walk in the works that Jesus did and Lord the greater works as you have spoken that upon us Lord in Jesus name we pray Amen Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk please visit apcwo.org